Have you recently considered getting a toy poodle? Do you want to know if this breed is right for you and your family? Well, stay tuned as I will break down all that you'll need to know about toy poodles and the poodle dog breed in general. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you are new here. I am Zion and here we show up to educate you the viewer on everything fur babies from puppy to adulthood. If you like this video and find value in this type of content then please don't hesitate to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. Without further ado let's just get straight into the video. Okay so number one. Poodles are hyper intelligent. They are considered the second most intelligent dog breed in the world next to the Border Collie. I must say that owning seven poodles myself and counting, I can attest to this. They are so smart that if not stimulated, they are often known to get into trouble. I know one of mine, Sophie, truly scares me a lot because of how intelligent she is. If left alone, they will be sure to get themselves into trouble. If you want to check out my videos on where I introduce my seven toy poodles, you can do so. I have both males and females video introducing them to you guys so you can check them out after this video. Nonetheless, this means that they are very easy to train using the usual technique of repetition, patience and reward. They can easily grasp the concepts of each lesson and it doesn't take them long to do so as well. Number two, poodles were originally bred for hunting. If you're new to the breed, then you may not know that poodles were originally bred to hunt. They were originated in Germany and were bred as water retrievers. This is where they would bring back waterfalls like ducks and geese that were shot by the hunters. So they're technically natural swimmers as well as their anatomy was designed to be in water. Number three, poodles need to be trained to lead. Okay, because of their smarts, they are usually seen as the alpha breed in a pack of dogs. I will keep reinforcing Sophie in this video because of how typical she is toward my notes here. She has a very dominant personality, and so I have to ensure that she knows that I am the leader in the household so that she doesn't assume that position. She would always get into fights with my other dogs, much so because of her dominant personality. So if you do decide to get a poodle, make sure at the very beginning assert yourself as leader and not allow them to make the decisions as they will become very difficult to get under control afterwards. Poodles come in three sizes. There are the standard, the miniature, and the smallest size, the toy poodle. Now, there may be a fourth size in some literature as the FCI, the International Poodle Club of the EU, recognizes this fourth size to be the Moyen Poodle, which falls between the standard and the miniature poodle. The size classes are not broken down by weight, but by height in inches at the shoulders. Taking this into consideration, the standard poodle measures up to 30 inches or more in height, the Moyen poodle between 20 to 30 inches give or take, the miniature between 10 to 12 inches, and lastly the toy poodle less than 10 inches in height. I must note here that there is no such thing as a teacup poodle, nor there is any such thing as a giant poodle class. Please guys, this is a very huge pet peeve of mine. If you are a breeder, please do your research and avoid spreading these misinformation on poodle sizes. There's also no such thing as micro poodle. And customers alike, please do your research. And if you notice that through your research you know more than the breed, then a breeder, just move on to the next. Poodles are very picky eaters. So this I thought was very much so individualistic until I started acquiring more poodles. I noticed that they were very picky and they don't eat much at all. My four pound Maltese eats way much more than all of my poodles put together combined. Poodles are hyperallergenic. You may not have known that poodles have hair and not fur. This means that the hair is much like human hair where it will grow as long as you allow it with little to no shedding at all. 
This would mean that they are hypoallergenic. They are the perfect breed for individuals who suffer from asthma and other illnesses that may stir up allergies. I must include here as well that poodles carry no odor whatsoever. Most breeds that are hypoallergenic that keep their hair has no smell to them. They are high maintenance breed. Because a poodle doesn't shed, their coat will require lots of maintenance. This would include daily brushing and grooming to prevent matting. Matting is when the hair would clump together and it is very easy for poodles here to mat because they have a very curly hair texture. Matting can be very painful for the dog, so regular grooming is a must. It can become very pricey over time, especially if you have a standard poodle to regularly keep up with their grooming. And let us not take into consideration show poodles. The level of dedication it takes to maintain a show dog is next level. By show dogs, I mean those who have a career in confirmation shows and have to have their hair cut in the continental grooming style as you would often see in like newspapers, movies, and so forth. Poodles are family dogs. Yes, poodles are very much so family oriented dogs. They are truly people pleasers and human oriented as well. By this I mean poodles don't like to be around other dogs. They much so prefer their human as to other dogs. And Sophie is just like this. She is so annoying to the point where I have to just like give me some space because she's always wanting to be around me and not wanting to play with the other dogs. Also, the standard poodle is the more human-like and patient of the three sizes and would deal very greatly with a family with children. Although through training, all the other sizes can achieve this level of comfort as well. I noticed also where the toy poodles, they're less patient to deal with, and so they may not be recommended for children, and especially children uh, that are like toddlers because of their size, it can become very dangerous to have toy poodles around, around kids. Poodles come in a variety of colors. So I have a separate video where I explain all the types of poodle colors that exist and so if you're interested in checking that out, you can do so after this video. Poodles come in so many color variations and patterns, and so some breeders may choose to specialize in only a couple of these colors, as it can become very difficult very quickly to produce all colors as there is, exists do's and don'ts in color breeding poodles. Even so, you have several colors to choose from if you're in the market for a poodle, from black, white, apricot, red, brown, silver, silver beige, so on and so forth. There are so many colors and they come in different patterns or markings on the body. Poodles are considered one of the more healthier dog breeds. They may live for an average of anywhere between 15 to 20 years if they're bred well and taken care of. They do come with the usual health problems, however, like hip and joint problems, for example, hip dysplasia. This is one of the more serious illnesses that may progress with time. It can, however, be avoided provided that your breeder does OFA testing on parent dogs. So this brings us to the end of the video. If you guys have anything else that you'd like to add, please comment them down below as I would love to hear your thoughts on these points. Thank you for watching and thanks for subscribing. But before you go, please check this other video out right here.